The CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Since we last spoke, and there have been a couple of updates on the severe weather front here, a new advisory popping up in northern parts of Aiken County through the Floodwood area in St. Louis County. Yeah, flood advisory there in effect perhaps through tomorrow morning. Folks in that neck of the woods should drive cautiously overnight. And we're still looking at that flood warning in effect from uh, southern Aiken County through parts of Pine County, Carlton County, and Douglas County. That could last until 5.30 tomorrow night. So again, some roads have been washed out. Watch for flooding on the roadways there. But on a brighter note, the small craft advisory for Lake Superior has been lifted, though the red flag warning does continue for the beaches of Park Point and Minnesota Point. So not a great night to get out and swim here tonight. And with October looming tomorrow, uh, the point is probably moot. The season is probably past. Well, let's talk about how much rain came today. Big soaking low pressure systems, warm front working through the area, brought almost an inch to the Hibbing region, and now 1.01 inches for Duluth up over the hill, two and a half inches at Solon Springs Airport, a hair over an inch for Hayward, and a little bit more than two inches in Ashland, an inch or half or so towards Ironwood. If the cold front portion of the low comes our way tonight, we could have a chance for a soaking rain coming back again. So please drive cautiously as the night goes on. Hopefully things improve by tomorrow afternoon. Right now at the airport in Duluth, 59, relative humidity 90%. So we may have to throw some fog troubles into the mix as well come tomorrow morning for the commute. Doppler map right now shows things on the calmer side in between fronts here. For the time being, though, there is a line of more vigorous storms indeed starting to perk up here through northern Aiken County in towards the Floodwood area. That's why that flood advisory has popped up for that neck of the woods. Keep in mind that rain potentially could be on the heavy side here as time goes on as this low pressure system's cold front tries to go through the area tonight. There's a chance it could go to the southeast and we'll miss it, but if it goes to the northeast like they tend to do, that's when we'll run into the troubles. So again, grin and bear it and buckle down here through tomorrow afternoon. Then we'll get a brief break before rain could return as early as Wednesday. And there is still a slight chance for some snow showers around our region Thursday morning as cooler air filters in with this line of low pressure systems that'll keep us wetter more than drier here over the week ahead. Forecast here for tonight says in Minnesota, rain is likely, but it should be of the gentler variety, hopefully. Low temps in Minnesota will be in the 40s. Low 40s up north, upper 40s down south. Into Wisconsin and Michigan, you still have a pretty good chance for storms, maybe even severe ones returning with low temps there, 50 to 52. But once we get past tonight into tomorrow, 30% chance for morning rain still lingering in Wisconsin and Michigan, but then should dry up in the afternoon. High temps 57 to 62. Minnesota should be mostly cloudy, but dry tomorrow, getting a break from all the rain. 47 up north to 57 down south and 60 right by the lake. So quite a wide variety of temperatures. And with uh, three more low pressure systems on the horizon coming our way, it's going to be fairly rainy around here. We get the break Tuesday, then it comes back on Wednesday and Thursday. A uh, slight chance, like I mentioned, for flurries Thursday morning. Probably nothing that'll stick or be usable for snow fans, but a sign of the times, huh? Then for Friday, partly cloudy day. That'll be the nice day of the week because rain <laughs> could return as early as Saturday. All right. Thanks, Dave.